Hey everyone, okay, so I wanted to come on and just talk to you about something that's really, really important but I, that I think often gets forgotten, overlooked, ignored, bypassed. And that is the reality that the eating you're doing and honouring all of your hunger without any restriction and embracing your extreme hunger, all of those things are not about weight gain. They're about getting out of energy deficit and those two things are distinctly different. My experience from my recovery is that when I jumped in to honouring my hunger, my body gained weight really quite fast. I was what I would now say was me weight restored PDQ. And the reality is, is if I had stopped honouring my hunger at that point, you know, if I'd bought into this concept that's sometimes presented of almost like the weight is the end goal and that then things change, if I'd bought into that, I'd never have recovered. The reality is, is that my hunger blasted on well beyond the point at which my body had restored and that that hunger was a reflection of the energy deficit I was in. You know, it was a reflection of the healing that my body had to do. It was a reflection of the amount of energy that neural rewiring takes. Now, the reason I wanted to share this is because so often... I know from my own experience and I know from talking to other people so often that point of but I've gained weight and my hunger is still so intense or but I've well surpassed the weight that my team said I should get to or that I'm heavier than I've ever been or that I'm well past the weight that I was before I had an eating disorder or all my clothes are fitting from before an eating disorder like surely this is it this is the end my hunger should have died down by now no your hunger will die down when you are no longer in an energy deficit. That is something which only your body knows. There is no other cue for when you are out of energy deficit than when your hunger starts to naturally decrease. And it will. It is not forever. I used to think, this is just some made up thing. I'm never going to not feel like this. I'm going to eat forever. I'm going to be ravenous and just eat and eat. I'm going to never be able to just go out for a meal and not have to go to a garage on the way home and eat half of the contents of the garage. Like I just thought, oh, this is it forever. Never going to change. I'm always going to be ravenous. I'm always going to be thinking about food. I'm not. I was in that state because I was in an energy deficit and because consequently my brain was like food, 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 food. My hunger was right up here. My fullness was way down here. And my brain was like food for a reason. Now, as I said, if I had stopped honouring my hunger with complete abundance and without any restriction at the point where I was weight restored, I'd never have, I'd, I'd never have gotten better. You know, I would literally never have gotten better. Not a chance in hell. I would still be, yes, at that higher weight, but I would still have been in an energy deficit, which meant that all of my all of my thought process would have still been exactly the same. My brain would still have been in that energy deprived state. My thoughts would still have been circling around food. My hunger would still have been right up there. Like all of those things would have carried on. And actually the best thing I ever did was let go and embrace the fact that I wanted to be better more than I cared where my body might go. Kind of had to just trust in the process a bit, which is, I wish there was a way, I know Becky did a video about this ages ago, where she spoke about, and I often signpost people to that one, where she spoke about weight gain, and she said, you know, I wish there was something that I could say that's going to make the weight gain part easier, but there isn't anything. The only thing that makes it easier is being in it, and then continuing to do the recovery stuff in that size body, and therefore showing your brain that actually it doesn't matter and living in it, and doing it, and being it, and then your brain adapts, and you learn, and that, like she said in that video, a huge amount of the very intense weight-related in fears, thoughts, obsessions, are down to a brain that is an energy-deprived state, and actually when you get out of that energy-deprived state, the whole weight preoccupation and fear of weight gain also reduces. You know, but basically I'm going off on a tangent. The main message I wanted to send to you is that if you are in a place where you have gained weight, maybe you've gained a lot of weight, 
Maybe you're heavier than you've ever been. Maybe you're well past the point that you were before you had an eating disorder. Wherever you're at and your hunger is still blasting on and you think, gosh, this means it's never ending. This must mean that my hunger is broken and that I'm just going to gain weight forever and ever and ever and it's never going to stop and I'm never going to have a more normal appetite. I just want you to know it's not the reality. Like all of those symptoms are a symptom of the energy deficit. Often you can gain your weight and then energy deficit takes longer in terms of the food. Like that gap between weight restoration and full nutritional rehabilitation is repaying the energy deficit and the energy debt. And actually that takes a hell of a lot of food. It takes a hell of a lot of rest. It takes a lot of de-stressing which is easier said than done because recovery is not known for its de-stressing, relaxing, chilled vibes, but we can just embody it. Basically, it just takes commitment to just keep trudging on. Keep going. Your body is not broken. Weight gain is not the only reason that you are honouring your hunger. It is not the only driving force for your hunger. Actually, that energy deficit, which is a reflection of the healing that needs to go on through every single bit of your body. Like, restriction damages every part of the, of the body. It is massively destructive. And repaying that energy has to happen in order for you to get back to a place of energy balance. My laptop just died, but I'll sum it up now. The eating that you're doing, honouring all your hunger, embracing your extreme hunger, is not about weight gain. It's about getting out of energy deficit. So it doesn't matter what weight you are. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is that you are honouring those cues, listening to your body and doing what it asks you to do. Your body wants what it needs and it needs what it wants. Drop the judgement, stop micro-analysing, over overanalyzing, judging, questioning, doubting. Stop it. Trust your body. Embrace your hunger. Your hunger levels will balance out and become your normal as and when your body is ready and has reached a place where it's no longer in an energy deficit. So yeah, trust your body and remember, it wants what it needs and it needs what it wants. And there is no too much. You've got this.